there was a huge amount of pressure release when I won. But at the same time, I was like, fuck, it's the first time that I've won something. My dad isn't here to share. So it was, yeah, it was, it wasn't the easiest time to have. And then, and then afterwards, I think the win in Zandvoort was, was, was cool. It was funny. Yeah, but it's, it's, uh, it was rewarding. Like, yeah, it was rewarding after two years of hard work. That, that was the biggest thing for me. It wasn't so much of a win where I said, you know, um, happy for, for the fact that I'd won. It was happy for the fact that I'd been able to achieve something after two years of struggling with the car, with the time that I had in F2, because F3 was a lot more straightforward for me. So it was, yeah, it was rewarding. And actually, you have a funny story. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was watching the race for in, in Brazil. I was in Brazil, so the race for me was 6 a.m. starting. Which at one? The Zandvoort. Zandvoort. Yeah, yeah. So I, I woke up and I was sitting on the couch, turned on the TV. I watched the first few laps and then I fell asleep. I woke up with like 50, because the race was super long, red flag, yeah. uh, safety car. Wheels flying. Stuff, yeah. And then with 15 minutes to go, because it was in the clock, he was leading, and I said, ah, oh, nice, super nice, but for sure he needs to stop because he's in the opposite strategy. Mm. So he needs to stop, and then he will go back fall to, back, yeah. to, I don't know, his normal place. <laughs> 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 and then they showed the, gra the graphic of like pit stops, and everyone had one. And I looked at the TV, I, I was like, no way, I just woke up, he's, he will win the race. And 15 minutes to go, <laughs> he started to do fastest lap, fastest lap, and pull the gap to P2 and P3. And I started to watch the phone, started to shake, <laughs> <laughs> watch the screen. And when he won, I called him straight away, and uh, he was super, super happy. I was also super drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think um, that, that obviously we sprayed the, the champagne uh, the, on, on the podium, but I'm pretty sure by the time I got back to the paddock, that champagne bottle was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> you had all right to do that. Yeah. It was Sunday, so... It was Sunday. No more racing after <laughs> that. So. And then you did something in, in Amsterdam or you... No, I mean, we we, we went to a, a party really close to the track that was organized by some, some friends of... of, um, of uh, I think it was the, the guy who owns the track, I'm pretty sure, the, the Zandvoort track. So we did we did a little thing there and um, and but it was fairly quiet because we had Monza the week after so we didn't want to go crazy and oh yeah it was right after yeah, yeah. but then we went crazy in Monza yeah, there you go <laughs> I, I delayed my celebrations <laughs> by yeah. a week yeah I understand. he saved it for the rodeo yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I saved it for yesterday <laughs> 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 